So for problem 3, we are given two functions, f of x equals 2x minus 6 over x squared, and then g of x equals x squared plus 4. And we have to find a few things. Um, the first part for part A, we want to find um, g of negative 3, which equals g of x with negative 3 plugged into it, so uh, x turns into negative 3 squared plus 4, which equals 13. And then we have part b, in which we are finding f of g of negative 3. Um, so if we write that out... Um, so because we already found g of negative 3, we can plug that in there. So we know f of g of negative 3 is equal to just f of 13, which we got from the previous problem. Um, and now all we have to do is plug 13 into uh, our f of x equation. So to do that, we will do 2 times 13 minus 6 over 13 squared. Um, so that'll end up equaling uh, 20 over 169. And then we have part C, in which we are finding f of g of x, and when finding f of g of x, all we have to do is plug the g of x equation into the f of x equation. So if we look at the f of x equation, wherever there's an x, we'll put that g of x. So that is 2 times what would be x, but now it's x squared plus 4. Uh, minus 6 all over x squared, which is now g of x squared. So, x squared plus 4 squared. So now if we just distribute that 2, it'll be 2x squared plus 8 minus 6 all over Foiling that out, we'll get x to the 4th plus 8, sorry, that's an 8, x squared plus 16. And then that top, li that top line, the plus 8 and minus 6, will end up counteracting each other, so it'll come out to be 2x squared plus 2 over x to the fourth plus 8x squared plus 16. And excuse my horrible handwriting. And now for part D, we are finding the inverse of g of x, which is written just as we've been writing it. And um, in order to find the inverse of a function like we did before, we're going to switch the x and y's. Um, so instead of y equals uh, x squared plus 4, we're going to say x, sorry, x equals y squared plus 4. And now we're just going to solve for y. Um, so we're going to subtract 4 and then find the square root, so we'll say y equals the square root of x minus 4. And 
that, sorry, that's my ringtone, um, means the inverse function of g of x is equal to x minus 4, square root of x minus 4. And we can use this answer for part uh, e, so I'll leave that up there, in which we are finding the inverse function g of 20. So we already found the inverse function, so all we have to do is plug 20 into this function that we found. Uh, so when we do that, we will get it is equal to 20 minus 4, which is equal to the square root of 16, which is equal to, to plus or minus 4.